Well, good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on September 20th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to start off with some crazy footage coming out of Hong Kong and parts of Thailand, Taiwan, after Main Cut is still raging, but ripped right through China. Taiwan and into Malaysia crazy crazy wind associated with man cut 265 kilometer per hour winds were recorded Wow ay 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 prayers and thoughts to everybody in the Philippines and Taiwan and China I know they're still digging out from the rubble everywhere, landslides, uh, the mining company in the Philippines. My thoughts and my prayers to everybody who is suffering from these extreme weather events that are happening from around the world. And this is why I'm here to post my analysis, to post updates, disaster alerts as they happen, so that you are aware and prepared for when quite possibly one of these crazy events are going to come to you. Look at this. The buildings were swaying in Taiwan and Hong Kong. Wow. But thank you all for joining me today. God bless you all. God bless this day. I'm truly grateful for you all and truly grateful to have this opportunity to share all of this with you guys. We're going to get back to North America here. We're going to start off with the seven day visible. I wanted to show here on this map the cold, cold air that came from the north in Canada. And then watch for the convergence there. The last frame. Some very nasty thunderstorms, tornado warnings across the Midwestern United States, and then we'll move east and produce more storms. And I'll get to that in just a moment in the five day forecast. But yes, snow is on the way. Calgary, Alberta, Weather Network's calling for four centimeters here in the city for tomorrow. I don't think it'll be four centimeters, but we'll see things can change drastically and quickly. So this is main cut. And main cut, as soon as it rips across Pakistan and India right now, we'll be heading north, east, into Nepal region. Now yesterday's video, I had said that, yeah, there will be a large dumping of snow, but I'm gonna get back into that in a second because we have another typhoon forming and it looks like it will be a category four in two days time. So watch for a large super typhoon again, heading towards the Philippines later in the week. I had warned that a few days ago anyways. So here we are looking five day forecast of the downgraded tropical storm and main cut on Pong. So you can see it ripping through India and then the projected forecast is going to head north and throw all of this enormous amounts of snow in the Nepal region. So stay aware and prepared in Nepal. I'm not kidding you. They're calling for almost three meters of snow in 10 days time. And here is the building a five day forecast of our next super typhoon. And most likely, actually, I'm looking at these models now, and it will probably head north of the Philippines to Taiwan and Japan. So Japan, like they haven't had enough already, could possibly have a super typhoon on their doorstep, category four or five. Parts of North America here, as I said, there will be tornado warnings across the Midwest and southeastern United States as that cold front comes through bringing 
enormous amounts of rain and wind and then snow to Quebec. But watch for large thunderstorms to develop as a tropical depression over New Mexico and Texas will be heading in land. So stay aware and prepared over the next few days. Things could change drastically. And yeah, stay tuned to your local weather networks for tornado warnings and these thunderstorm warnings. Now across Europe, uh, the wind event, Ali, has moved north, but definitely left a punch in parts of Europe. And then we're going to watch another large low pressure develop heading into the middle of the European continent. Southern Hemisphere, still Yes, large, vigorous lows developing and turning and joining forces. Not much has changed since I started reporting. We're going to look at some beautiful images of the sun over the last 48 hours. Large coronal hole in the north. Small sunspot region coming in right here, firing up. And then in that region, some very large filament eruptions, and solar tornadoes. Humongous, like 15 times the size of Earth filament eruptions. Beautiful images of our sun coming from SDO. I really hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, I want to thank all my subscribers from around the world. You guys are awesome. Much love. But I'd love for you guys to get back into that comment section. It's been a while since I've heard from y'all. So please just come down in the comment section and say hi. We're going to look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. We've had a lot of very deep earthquakes. This is the most recent of 4.9. But overnight, in the Mariana Trench, 5.4 going off at a 209 kilometer depth. Also the Philippines with a 5.1. Solomon Islands going off 5.5. And also Papua New Guinea with a 5.4. So some pretty sizable earthquakes in the western ring of fire. But also in my predicted forecasted area, Mexico went off with a 5.4 and a 4.5. And Valparaiso, Chile with another 4.6 and 4.5 or sorry 5.0 and a 4.5 5.1 here in mid-atlantic ridge so yeah pretty busy for earthquakes and my forecasted area is still the south america expecting a large shallow earthquake I'm gonna leave you here with the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world Thanks for joining me today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Bye-bye. Big shout out to Paul today. If you're watching, you're the man downtown who restilled my faith in humanity. Thank you so much, my friend. Big shout out to you, Paul. And you know why. Karma comes quick, my friend. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.